Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, if you think about a large, uh, large scale research software project like the R project or Python or Julia, um, you might recognize the scenario that's, that's depicted on this slide. So we have a very large, um, diverse community of users. And some of those will become developers. They'll uh, develop their own modules or add on packages in the language and contribute those back to the user community. But the developer community tends to be less diverse. And some groups may even be unrepresented. And if we look a bit closer, we realize that some of the developers are actually inactive after a while. They're no longer maintaining their code. So as well as a diversity issue, we also have sustainability issues. And these issues become even more acute if we look at the, the core developers, those developers that are working on the base language or the core code base. And uh, this is something that uh, we're particularly aware of in, in the R community. Um, our, our core team is, uh, uh, a lot of them are, are sort of nearing or past retirement. So sustainability is, is quite an issue and there hasn't been so much investment in, in building a sustainability and, and diverse community. Uh, so we set up a, a working group last year and uh, we're just sort of taking some initial steps. And if you're interested, you can find more on the link there, bit.ly slash our contribution. Uh, that tells you a bit about the working group and what we've started so far. Uh, I'm interested in connecting with any members of the R community that like to get more involved in, in the core development uh, community. Uh, outreach or development infrastructure, and also in people working, uh, connecting with people working on these issues in other programming communities so we can learn from each other and uh, share experience. Thank you.